Today, we will examine into four real estate investment trusts in particular that have a lengthy and consistent track record of growing their dividends year after year. The following REITs have increased their dividends at least once a year without fail for more than two decades, even during the pandemic and the 2008 financial crisis. If a firm can increase its dividends once every 12 months, it usually means they have a strong management team and a strong balance sheet. REITs are one of the best type of investments for people searching for passive income or a simple method to get started investing in real estate. REITs own and or manage income-producing real estate holdings, and they are obligated by the law to distribute 90% of their profits to shareholders in the form of dividends. They are treated like stocks, so they are simple to invest in, and you won't have to deal with building maintenance, evictions, or any of the other issues that come with traditional real estate investing. Some REITs are better than others, much like organizations, and today, we will look at the four in particular that have a long track record of success. But first, please accept my warmest greetings if this is your first time here at the Smart Stocks Academy channel. To be the first to know when a new video like this is released, hit the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell next to it. Now let's get to the video. The first REIT on our list is WP Carry, one of the largest net lease REITs with an enterprise value of $22 billion and a diversified portfolio of 1,304 buildings encompassing roughly 156 million square feet. WP Carry's portfolio is predominantly concentrated in the United States, as well as Northern and Western Europe, and is highly diversified in terms of tenant, property type, geographic location, and tenant industry. WP Carey became a publicly traded company 24 years ago, in 1998, and they have grown their dividends every year since then. As a result, they aren't quite a dividend aristocrat yet, but based on their current performance, they are on the course to becoming so within the next three years. Their stock is currently selling at $81.66 per share, with a 5.18% dividend yield. Their stock price has increased over 26% from this time 5 years ago. Presently, 98.5% of their properties are leased, which is excellent in this sector. And we can see how wonderfully varied their properties are if we scroll down. On the right, we can see that Industrial Warehouse accounts for about half of their portfolio. These are very stable industries that usually keep their footing even in difficult economic times. Their top 10 renters are also in industries that are recession-proof. Self-storage companies are their number one and eight largest tenants, as you can see here. Regardless of the economy, self-storage units are constantly in demand. People need more space to store their extra possessions in times of plenty, and they need a place to put their belongings when they are evicted in times of scarcity. They also own 70 government offices in Spain, as well as school buildings, wholesale warehouses, and industrial sites. They do own some hotels that are more vulnerable to economic downturns, but they make up a very modest percentage of their entire real estate portfolio. We can see on their investor relations page that their weighted average lease period is 10.8 years. As a result, the average client who rents one of WP Carey's buildings is trapped into an 11-year lease. The longer the average lease term, the safer an REIT is because when you lock firms into lengthier contracts, you can usually count on them to pay the rent for many years in the future. Overall, I believe WP Carey has maintained a strong track record, and they appear to be in a strong position for continued growth in the future. ASEX Property Trust is the next REIT we will take a look at. ASEX is a fully integrated real estate investment trust that buys, develops, redevelops, and maintains upscale multifamily residential buildings in a number of West Coast areas. Essex now owns stakes in 246 apartment communities with a total of around 60,000 apartment dwellings, as well as six sites in various stages of development. After 29 years of dividend increases, Essex was designated as a dividend aristocrat. The stock is currently priced at $351, making it quite pricey, with a dividend yield of 2.5%. Their stock is currently up over 49% from this time 5 years ago, 
and it pays a quarterly dividend of $2.20 per share. If you look at their website, you'll notice that many of their apartment costs more than $2,000 a month for only a studio. Apartment REITs are one of my favorite industries because it is one of those that will always be needed. Next, we have Realty Income, which is an REIT that most people are probably familiar with. Realty Income, sometimes known as the Monthly Dividend Company, is an REIT focused to delivering stockholders with consistent monthly income. Throughout its 53-year working existence, the firm has declared 620 consecutive common stock monthly dividends and has increased the payout 114 times since its public offering in 1994. Realty Income provides monthly dividends as you might expect, which sets them apart from other REITs on this list. Realty Income stock is presently selling at $71.62 per share, with a dividend yield of 4.13%. They currently pay a monthly dividend of a little over $0.24 cents per share, and its stock is currently up over 19% from this time 5 years ago. Realty Income is one of the well-respected REITs on the market, if not the most well-known. Realty Income has over 11,100 properties in their real estate investment portfolio as of the production of this video, including properties in all 50 states, Puerto Rico, and the United Kingdom. When we look at their top 20 clients, we can see that there are a lot of solid organizations out there. Walgreens, 7-Eleven, Dollar Green, and FedEx are all solid corporations that do well in most economic downturns. You'll also see that Realty Income owns some buildings that are more vulnerable to economic downturns, such as movie theaters and gyms. Federal Realty Income Trust is the last REIT we will be looking at. Federal Realty is primarily engaged in the ownership, operation, and redevelopment of high-quality retail-based properties in major coastal markets. Federal Realty's purpose, which began in 1962, is to provide long-term sustainable growth by investing in densely populated affluent communities where retail demand exceeds supply. It is currently selling at $119 per share with a 3.57% dividend yield. Federal Realty has continuously increased its dividend year after year for more than 50 years, making it a dividend aristocrat as well as a dividend king, which is a firm that has increased its dividends for at least 50 years. Their stock hit an all-time high in 2016, and it hasn't been able to recover that level since then. Furthermore, Federal Realty is an REIT that has struggled to regain its pre-pandemic value. I believe the primary reason is that shopping malls have yet to fully recover from the COVID pandemic. However, one thing that investors should bear in mind is that Federal Realty doesn't simply own commercial centers. They also develop mixed-use communities. Shopping malls and strip malls are commonplace, but mixed-use shopping complexes are unique. They combine residential and retail space. Typically, you'll find premium commercial centers with apartments or condominiums built on top of them. These mixed-use communities are quite desirable and can command a high rent. While the epidemic has put pressure on Federal Realty, I believe things will improve when they recover from the March 2020 fall. They do have a varied portfolio of roughly 104 buildings, including 2,800 residential apartments, some offices, and strip malls. And with that, today's video comes to a close. To express your love and support for this video, click the like button below if you haven't already. Also, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button below and turning on the notification bell next to it to be the first to know when a new video is posted. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and we hope you enjoyed yourself. We look forward to seeing you again soon.